and brethren. Hey, <laughs> when I thought I've heard it all, I heard another thing very, very shocking. <laughs> and I said to myself, Chinenyangwa, you will not be the only person that will hear this. You will bring it here so that others will tell you what they think about it. Like, I was surprised to hear about it. I thought I've heard so many things about marriage. Like, I was thinking that if I should see anything, I would just be like, it should be related to normal life in marriage and all the rest of them. But the one I heard recently, <laughs> it shocked me. It shocked me really good. So I said to bring it to you guys because so many people, um, so many people, would I say, yes, they supported the opinion, but it was somehow weird to me. So I decided to come and share with you guys so you can also tell me your own opinion. So that I will know if I'm alone or I will have some supporters. So welcome to this vlog. If today is a video, if today is your first time, you're welcome. And please don't make it your last. Subscribe and join the family. So let's dive straight to the video. <music> I joined a program via online and as teaching was going on something popped up and a woman said that there should be sex timetable in marriage I was like when you put that in like who said that and when she said it so many people supported and said yes yes there should be sex timetable you know the brother was surprised like sex timetable you not give away and then we was sex timetable you know Women were just saying, yes, it's true. And he decided to hear from the women to know why they've decided or why they are saying, yes, there should be sex timetable in marriage. And each of them had something to say. So let us just analyze it. We are not going to say, I'm not going to say they are wrong or they are right. But at the end of the video, I will say my own opinion towards what they said. So the first person said, yes, that there should be sex timetable. And the brother asked the person, why do you think that there should be sex timetable in marriage? The woman said that, that the husband did something very annoying to her and she still have that at the back of her mind. And because of that, that is the reason why she has set it to be like that, that definitely in their marriage, there is sex timetable. The, woman, the man cannot just come to her and make out with her and her that is a timetable for now i'll stop calling it sex timetable i'll just be calling it timetable i know you will understand whenever you hear it so the brother was like is that the reason why you said you should um you have sex timetable in your marriage the woman said yes and the woman was so serious she said that this is how it is in her marriage and that is how she wants it then another woman supported the opinion and said yes there should be timetable in marriage for doing it so the brother asked the woman you yourself what is your reason why do you think that there should be a timetable for making out in marriage the woman said that most times that the men are not there for us that sometimes you'll be in the mood you will need your man but your man will be outside chilling and relaxing with his friends he wouldn't consider to come back and know what's up with the wife. Sometimes you'll be calling them. They will not really know the reason why you should, why you are calling them. They will just relax. But each time they are in the mood, you will see them running back home for you to satisfy them. And the woman said, because of that, because they are not always there for us whenever we need them, because of that, most times when they come to us, that. That is the reason why we should say no to them. That because of that, there should be a timetable. So that whenever the man is outside, for example, if let's say if they decide to be doing it or making out on this, or maybe on Wednesdays and on Thursdays, or on Fridays, or and let's say every Friday and every Tuesday, for example. If it's not Tuesday or Friday, <laughs> there will be no free kick. So that was what the woman said. And I was like, okay, let's hear from the, um, let me okay, continue listening to them. The third woman came and said, yes, that we should have a um, timetable because that this thing, doing it often and on that, it's, it's, um, affects the hips, like it affects our hips. 
So maybe with some people we are shouting, some people we are saying yes, yes, you know, to everyone that makes a point, people will support, some will say yes, it's true, why some people will say no, it's not true, you know, the first woman mentioned her point based on the, the husband um, anoint her, the second one said that the, uh, the, the men are not always there for us emotionally why the third person said it affects the womb then the fourth person said that the reason why there should be a timetable or the reason why she made a timetable was because she's trusting god for the fruit of the womb so that she normally put it let's say during the period of ovulation that is the only time they have the makeouts so let's say they will do it maybe three or two times or four times, I don't know, in a month, just because they're trusting God for the fruit of the womb. So as they were just saying, oh, someone else said that the reason why there should be timetable is because some men are dating, that most men, you will see them wearing the same boxers, you will try to tell them to stop doing it, yet they will continue. That because of that, it irritates some women, like because of that, some people should just do it, a, maybe let's say, a, 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 we should have a timetable which I don't even see that one as a good reason sorry I'm saying this but you can help your husband so another person said that the reason why she set a timetable so disheartening is because the husband happens to be all these quick quick people you know he's a quick person that doesn't last so most times when he just arose the feelings the woman will want it and at the end of the day the woman the man will tell the woman that he's done and the woman will be the one suffering it so that is the reason why there should be a timetable by so doing they will now know that okay we are doing it let's say for example once a week once in a week, maybe the whole emotion will be together i don't know what how it will work but that is her reason why she chose to have a um, timetable in her marriage so these are all the reasons why we should have a timetable for making out a marriage so i will not say my own opinion or what i think whether it's good or not see i'm going to say my own opinion you are permitted to say your own opinion in the comment section or if you're a content creator feel free to talk about this as well if i can lay my hands on the link to the program i will definitely link it to the to this video in as much as it will belong somehow if i I don't know if i should get the link i can just put it if you're interested you can just go and get it so let me say my own opinion towards all start by things. saying well i'll start from the first point that the woman said that the reason why she fixed a timetable for making out in her marriage is because of what the husband did to her i don't know what the husband did to her she didn't mention but she said the thing is still afresh in her mind maybe a heartbreak maybe i don't know i don't know what really happened i don't know what respect but what i want to say concerning that is that see i understand that most times we can be so so angry and we can take a harsh decision but in marriage marriage is a place where you forgive and forgive and forgive until you are tired of forgiving see in marriage you cannot even be tired of forgiving you you will move from forgiving to long suffering because you have to forgive your husband like i always say unless you want to divorce or unless you want to just work out or separate but if you don't want you always forgive in marriage forgiveness is very very important so whatever might be the problem whatever your husband must have done to you depending on the severity of the case you can you can go without it for some days for some weeks for some months depending on the gravity of the sin but saying that you will fix a permanent um, sex timetable is is not right i mean i don't see it as something I don't know i don't see it as something good that is just my own reason saying that is my own perspective towards this particular one then the second woman that said that men are not always there for us that most times they just chill out with their friends and whenever they want it that is when you see them rushing down to um, the house to 
make out see let me tell you one thing this is where communication comes in you have to have a means of communicating to your husband communication like i said in one of my videos it is very very important in marriage so you should have a way of communicating with your husband rather than setting a, a timetable for making out it doesn't make sense oh that means if people should have a timetable maybe if they might want to do or if you yourself yourself have a feeling of making out with your husband you don't be like oh today is wednesday we can't make out on Wednesday, it's only on Friday. Is that what you're trying to tell me? So if your man wants to make out with you on a Thursday, you just be like, no, today is Thursday, today is not Friday. We only make out on Thursdays and on. We only make out on Wednesdays and on Fridays. No, it's not making sense. Like, <laughs> I don't understand though. See, once you get married, eh, your name is just Sahe Safadi. You have to be opening any house. So for see, unless you are really, really tired that you can just explain to your husband, he should see reasons why you shouldn't, why you can't do it at that moment. Not telling me you have a timetable see the man paid for everything so service him yeah that is my own opinion service him that is just it so the next person said i'm rushing this video i wouldn't want it to be so long the next person said that um too much of it um causes um hip problem according to let me use his word on a new on a new like it disturbs the hip me i don't know for this one i was thinking that it refreshes or maybe the man is a rough user i don't know i don't know i don't know sorry i said <laughs> But I don't know for the woman to be complaining that it's disturbed. Even the woman, the, the woman was even saying that once she takes in, forget about anything concerning making out. That she doesn't make out until she give birth until the baby is matured, like is up to some months, you know. And the brother called the asked her if her husband was there. She said yes. The brother asked her to call the husband. The husband came and. The brother asked the man, what your wife is saying, is it true? The man said yes, that is true, that once the wife takes in, forget it. And once she gives birth, until the, the child gets to a certain uh, month, let's say like, I think the, the child she was having was eight months. And the man was like, hey, brother, to tell you the truth, it's been two months, I've not touched my husband. So the brother was like, no, no, sorry. And the brother tried to educate the woman that is not right to me is not right you shouldn't have this a timetable uh, this thing is it's about feelings i don't know uh, maybe you oh, i don't understand i was thinking that making out goes with feelings it goes with emotion i've been a quam quam something that you just like tell yourself today is thursday you must do it or today is friday you must do it i don't understand i don't see reasons why we should fix a date or a day um, days of the week that we'll be making out you can stay for a week, for for example, without doing anything and you are okay. And there are some days that you'll be like, you, you will not even be thinking about it. The feelings will just come. That is why people are husband and wife to so satisfy each other. That is that for that one. Then the next person said she's trying to conceive. See, let me tell you, if you're trying to conceive, that is when you should even do it more. If you come to the clinic for counseling, we'll always tell you because you are trying to conceive, that is even when you should always make out with your husband because it is very, very important for spermatozoa to be in your body. You don't, you can't say it must be today. I must ovulate today. It must, um, even if you say you must ovulate today, you don't even know the exact time that the egg will be released so let me tell you the percentage of getting pregnant is just one over 100 that is just the truth so it's only one egg that will be released and you don't know the exact time for the egg to be released so you don't even know system changes you don't even know how your system when your system will change or whatever so it is even the reason why you should always do it rather than setting a timetable if it's not during your ovulation you will not do it so let me tell you some people ovulate during menstruation some people ovulate few days after menstruation so you mustn't say that it must be like this or it must be like that body changes because you are trusting god for the fruit of the womb should even be the reason why you should always make out with your man it's only God that gives children, right? But you have to do what you're supposed to do as human. Then another person said, what was the last point? Okay, the person said about the husband being dated that I said that is not even a reason. I don't see it as a reason because if your husband is the dirty type and doesn't change his boxers, it's very simple. Once your husband, once your man comes back, take out that boxers and go and wash it. 
There is no way, there is no way, reasonable person, unless the person is mad, that you take out his bosses to work for or to watch for him and he'll get angry with you. If he doesn't have other ones, use your money and buy for him or take money from him, buy boxers from him. If if don't tell him that you want to buy boxers, you can equally tell him other things that you want to do with the money and just get a boxers for him. So your husband being dirty shouldn't be the reason why you should fix a timetable. Then if you try to to correct him or if you try to do the necessary things like helping him taking out the boxers to wash you don't even need to wait for him to bring it out to the waste bin before you wash it once he's, he comes back from work you can just some men do it normal like i was the comeback they just take it to the trash where i am um, to the bin where it to be washed but if you see that he's not that kind of person that he will just dump it somewhere with the trouser together tomorrow he'll put it on once he comes back go there pick it go and wash it and bring out another one for him chicken now case closed then if you try all you can do for him to change and if not change it then need that he then know that he needs counseling that one is very very simple it shouldn't be the reason why you should fix a timetable for making out then the last person said that the husband always put her into the into the mood being as a few minutes man you know so this one that is a medical problem or some people will say it's also a spiritual problem but i always try to see firstly i always look at the medical medical perspective being a health personnel so what you have to do is go to the hospital to see in this time i see it as a trying period that is when you have to hold hands with your husband go to hospitals go ask for control know what the problem is if it is a medical case treat it go for treatment if it is a spiritual case pray towards it and you will see god making out making a name for himself that shouldn't be the reason why you should say okay uh, because of it you will have a uh, once in a week see that once in a week will not make him start functioning for five hours so you want to tell me let's say if someone that lasts for five minutes you want to say okay five times seven in a week should give you a uh, five times seven should be 35 right if i'm not mistaken so you want to tell me that doing it once in a week will not make the man last for 35 minutes no, it wouldn't make it so. Even you should even always engage him to see if he will improve. With medications and prayers, everything will be fine. For me, I don't see any reason for you to have a timetable for making out. So, hey, if your man wants to make out, or um, maybe your man just, you could just made out on Monday and your man is in the mood on Tuesday, you will just be the man, no, today is not Friday, we can't make out, we only make out two times in the week, as in, I don't know, I don't understand, see, this thing is all about emotion, it's not about, there is no food that you just come and say, okay, now, I will eat, I will, I will fast today, tomorrow I will eat, no, this thing comes with emotions and feelings, there shouldn't be set timetable, let me say it out, this is my own opinion, no matter what the reason is, there shouldn't be set timetable, if you have problem with your husband, which is normal, try and settle, even if it will take you a week, two weeks, a day, two days, a month, two months, three months, any time to take you, but never you fix a timetable for it so like i said feel free to tell me what you think in the comment section and i'll see you on my next video god bless you and thank you for tuning by and subscribe if you know you've not subscribed subscribe and join the family ciao